Okay, good morning everybody. I'm Jedi Master RD and I welcome back to the group page of In the Life of a Jedi. This is the next episode in the Life of a Jedi. Uh, boy, I need a shave. <laughs> uh, but uh, some of our members, I just got I got here right around right at nine o'clock, and some of our members will be coming in a little bit later. But uh, they are on the way. And uh, welcome to Forward City Con in Foley, Alabama. Alright, hi everybody. Uh, so you're going to be seeing some pictures like usual. And uh, some q and I just started doing that again to, uh, Saturday. So you're going to be hearing some people from booths. And this is one of our booths. We didn't have our tablecloth. And I think one of our 501st buddies has our tablecloth. But this is some of the stuff that I put on the table. And we actually ran out of Rebel Legion cards, brochures that I had at the house. I, I ran out. And uh, I got I got to get more. <laughs> uh, yeah. We got some potential members. And it's going to be great. I can't wait to have people join us. Make our squad boom and everything. Because we really need members. To, uh, to be able to have more more of us come together. And it, it, it's... It's a fun thing to work with the 501st, it really is. And this is Spider-Man, and believe it or not, this guy, he actually is a good portrayer at, for Spider-Man from the movies. Uh, the uh, Marvel versions, not the Sony versions, the Marvel versions of it. And, uh, oh my goodness. Man, that, that kid's good. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's really good. Okay, this next picture is the robotics booth. Actually, the droid builders, they are part of Star Wars. Uh, uh, the only way you can be a droid builder is you got to build one. Then that's how you become a droid builder. It's not like the Rebel Legion 501st and all that. Okay, what's good? Okay. Uh, you, uh, you, you, if you build a droid, you're a droid builder. And that's that's their baby Yoda down there. He actually walk, actually rolls around and moves. And that's Chopper. I don't know what that one back there is. It looks like Chopper, but the one that's in front, uh, that is Chopper uh, from Star Wars Rebels. If, uh, if you've watched the Rebels series, I binge watched it. <laughs> yeah, I binge watched it. <laughs> Yeah, I sure did. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, this is one of the this is the comic book store that's next door to the train depot. It's called Covert Comics, and they they sell a lot of different variety of stuff. Every now and then they they sell trains, but m m here recently the the majority of their stuff is like comic books, Star Wars memorabilia, collectors stuff like that. Uh, Stuff like that, but uh, yeah. And this is the this is the other side. But they get the, there was like two booths, <laughs> two tables to, to. They were they actually had a video game center. I didn't take a picture of that, but I did see it. Oh man, it's been a while since I actually did one of these videos because I actually had to uh, get another drive bay, an external drive bay. I actually got it so today came in today all right this next picture is um, uh, I forgot his name forgive me buddy but he has a YouTube channel called TARDIS spider and I got to be in it <laughs> along with everybody else that wanted to be in it so I'm happy that I actually got to be back on YouTube but just for a short time I was very happy about it I did some poses and everything and I was actually on the on his channel along with everybody else. What, what is it y'all do? So, um, this is all my stuff. I do, I'm a freelance illustrator. Um, I do commissions, I do character sheets, stuff like that. Um, today, I have some acrylic charms, some earrings, some um, fine art prints, magnets, stickers, um, buttons, and zines, and these actually have like, stuff from my sketchbook that I've scanned and put out. So, just popping my wares. I noticed a uh, Furby drawing down there. Yes, and they see there's another one in there. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm a big fur bait person. Um, the confetti baby colors are my favorite. <laughs> Alright, well thank you very much. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, so this is that uh, booth I was that was that was t uh, was being in the video. I was doing a Q and A, and all that. Uh, a lot of uh, they ca they kind of do custom artwork because um, uh, because what because of the way their booth looks, and it looked really cool and everything. You'll, you're gonna, I'm gonna be talking about some of these other booths as well, but uh, it was a lot of fun and everything. I had a blast at FullyCon, and uh, you're gonna enjoy the next sets of videos and pictures. Okay, so what do you do? I'm a comic book artist, and I, I own the company Flatline Comics. We do mostly horror comics, and I draw vicious Scary. circus. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Oh, so, so I draw Vicious Circus. It's the book there about killer clowns. And uh, I draw a couple other books here. I've got an anthology series called Amandatory. My name's Amanda. Okay. To play on my name. I have short stories. And, um, yeah, we do, we're, we're based, uh, I'm from Foley, here where the show is, uh, but we're based out of Fairhope, and we, we make all these books, me and my, my partners, and, um, goodness, it's a full-time job, <laughs> it's a life, it's a life, it's a comic book life. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh -huh. hey, well, thanks for letting me ask some questions well, for you. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is a uh, another booth here. It's called Flatline Comics, uh, as you heard in the Q and A. Flatline Comics, and uh, the, as she does like uh, like Vicious Circus, Killer Clown. It's kind of like a horror comics, and she's actually local in the area, and that's pretty amazing. A lot of the stuff in Foley Con is local people, and well, the city puts it on, and it's free, so it don't cost us a dime. It don't cost anybody to come in. That's just how it is. All right, so what what do you do? We are, we are authors, artists, and performers. So we wrote the book Beyond the Mist, which is based on King Arthur, and it deals with Morgana and Arthurian legend Merlin, and it's 25 years after Arthur supposedly went to Apple. That's why it's the title Beyond the Mist, and okay. we're making a film of that book. I heard Organa. Morgana. Morgana. Disney film. Had Nicolas Cage in it. Oh, Sorcerer's Apprentice. So that that kind of had, but it was, but it was about Marlin's ring, though. This is about the, the original myths. So this is based on Celtic mythology. Oh, okay, cool. So this is old school. Sometimes old school is a lot better, you know. It is sometimes, yes. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, so what is it y'all do? Um, we do three. How long did it take y'all to make that? Um, that took probably two hours. I wasn't really timing it, but it didn't take very long. I have Blender on my thumb drive, but I don't know how to use it yet. I'm still... Can you use it to like render videos and stuff like that with? Yes, sir. Yeah, we do uh, 3D animation, and we mostly use Blender. Partially because it's free, which is incredible, but also because it is... I've used other programs. I have used paid programs, and Blender just works better and has better features than those programs. Um, you can absolutely uh, render out full animations. It's also got a compositing software inside of it, so you can put together your rendered files into your own live video um, and add like music and sound effects and stuff. It's amazing. Oh, cool. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, so these people, uh, like I said in the Q and A. Uh, they, it also says it in, down there on the description. It says 3D printing, 3D animation, 3D modeling, video production, uh, called Brew Productions. And they were there in 2019. I remember that. I did see them, but I was just getting started with In the Life of a Jedi, and I decided to do that a month later. But I still had the pictures, so I'm gonna actually okay. Well, all right. But uh, yeah, uh, specifically the same people that that come by. From, that was the here in 2019. Uh, but, uh, uh, so if you, it's three, the three D thing. Uh, they're using a software called Blender. I actually have it. All right. So, what do y'all do? 
Okay, so we're the Doki Doki Anime Club. We uh, do, we meet at the library over there, and for second Wednesday of every month, for like 4.30 to 6, we watch anime, we have raffle prizes, we have snacks, and for events like Christmas, we'll do like Dirty Santa and things like that. Okay, I know, I'm know familiar with Dirty Santa. Yes, we'll do things That's like hilarious. That. We'll play games like that, and then we'll cosplay, especially for Halloween. Most of us usually run like this, we'll help set it up and stuff like that. We, we can, it's, it's really fun. It really encourages for people who have like the same interests, like video games and anime and uh, tabletop games. Sometimes we have people who come with theirs. Those, it's really good for delving that. All, all ages from like 10 to 17, that's a pretty good group. We have There's 18 uh, exclusive. There's 18 exclusive club, club, of course, up for up there for people who are watching more mature stuff. But we, we, we love it. We have a lot of groups in there, a lot of different kinds of people. It's very diverse. All right. Hey, well, thank you very much. No problem. This is the Doki Doki Anime Club. Uh, they do, they have stuff at the uh, at the at the library right next door to the Civic Center on Wednesdays, and uh, they have people come in and all that. It's a lot of fun and everything. For what I've heard, it's actually from them. From what you saw and heard in the video, uh, it's actually really nice. And, uh, boy, that storm's fixing to be coming in soon. <laughs> but, um, uh, oh, kind of cool people. You know, uh, I think that's, uh, uh, oh, I forgot their names. Forgive me if you see this video, but they're actually some really nice people. And it's nice that the library gets to host us, so. Okay, I'm familiar with Action Game and Movie. What kind of store is this? Uh, to those who don't know. And a bunch of collectibles too? Yeah, we're part, we're sister uh, stores with Action Game and Movie. So these two stores are connected. The Book of Shade and Action Movie. Oh, sweet. Oh, thank you very much. All right, here's the other half of the action game and movie. This is across from us, a few booths down to the left, if you're facing uh, west. Uh, just just one or two booths down from the left. And across from us. And uh, where, we were, where I was at. And they, uh, they're they also... It's, it's called action game and movie, but they also do books as well. And that's part of their uh, description, too. So, I like this store. I haven't been in it in a while. But uh, they do got some good deals every now and then if you know what you're looking for. Because I did find something. All right, so what is it you do? I'm a comic strip artist. Uh, my name is Jeff Frame. Jeffrey Frame. And this is the Smiley Face Commandos. So there's uh, three guys. They have indestructible heads. So they're not really superheroes, but their heads are superheroes, I guess you could say. So, like this guy right here, Bob, mm -hmm. he had a helicopter crash land on his head, which is why you can see there's a little bit of a scar there. But he's okay. He recovered. Uh, so they, they fight bad guys, ranging from international assassins to disgruntled customer service representatives. Uh, this is one of our bad guys, Ronald. Mm -hmm. Ronald Clementine. He used to work for a peanut butter company, now he's trying to become a bad guy. And then this is the other bad guy, and his name is Koff Epuck. Oh, man. So, those guys are always causing trouble, They're just trying to save people, be do-gooders, that sort of thing. Alrighty, well thank you very much. Yes, sir. If I remember correctly, it's called uh, Smiley Commandos or something like that. Uh, which is the booth right across the street from from uh, from our booth that we had, our table booth, whatever. <laughs> uh, but uh, each one, they're like indestructible. That's what he said. They're pretty much indestructible. Uh, they do get damaged, but they're pretty much indestructible. Uh, they do these really cool missions. He's like he's like a uh, he's a comic book writer, and he's got a couple of comic books on there. And I I uh. I didn't have any money, you know, cash in hand, but <laughs> but it was actually, you know, you ask before you take pictures. So, but, so I asked, so 
That's how I got the pictures. And this is uh, Dustin from uh, across the bay over in Sims in Mobile County. He's in the Coast Guard. Uh, but it's nice to have him around. Thank you for your service, buddy. I appreciate it. Wish I was with you. But, uh, yeah. Um, so that's what he does, but he's uh, but he's a shore trooper. If you're not familiar with that costume, it's from uh, the movie called Star Wars, Sto Star Wars Story Rogue One. It takes place before, one hour before the uh, A New Hope or the original Star Wars. And that's how we figured out how the plans got there, you know, and all that. It's a struggle, right? But... The Empire trying to get the hands and everything. <laughs> but, yeah. And this next picture is actually me and my uh, Jedi. Uh, one of our guys took the picture for me. And I actually have to say, my Jedi suit looks so much better now. Um, up in the neck area, looks more closed in, just like a movie. Like in the movies. Uh, and, I got, uh, and I had a few weeks ago... Back in February, close in February, uh, one of the ladies uh, I found on uh, one of the group pages I'm on, and I had her alter it, and I, and I didn't have to pay a dime because I helped her with some PC problems, and that was really nice of her. Her boyfriend paid for it, and I'm like, oh, oh man, you don't have to do that. I'll pay for it. I'm like, oh, no, 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 you've helped us a lot. Thank you. And believe it or not, I got their drivers updated and everything for them. Uh, one of the laptops I couldn't quite figure out. It's a gaming laptop, but there was some, I was having some problems with a bug or something like that. But uh, it was one of the problems I couldn't figure out. But I did get some of the stuff updated for him and her. All right, y'all, we're getting close to the end here. This is the last two pictures. I've had to do a lot of video, uh, excuse me, audio editing because I had to delete some stuff that, well. I, mess up sometimes you know you want to get it right but uh this is me in my tie suit now and this is sean in his uh black tk suit it's really nice he actually wore this at the christmas parade in loxley and that was a walk that was the last time i saw him um two of our other members bill and amelia that they were going to attend uh bill was not feeling good and his wife had him do something in the flower bed and uh amelia's work schedule changed all of a sudden after she had the day off but that's fine we'll see bill and amelia and some of our other guys at the strawberry festival and this is the group picture of all three of us together and we got a photo bomber. <laughs> I got Spider Man in the background. <laughs> photo <bombed> the picture. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I'm telling you, it was a lot of fun. Polycon, I think, because right around 3 o'clock, that's when everybody was leaving, because they opened it from, it's from 9 to 3. And right around 3 o'clock, I actually started packing down, packing up my stuff, changing back into the, to my uh, mowing stuff because I had a yard to do as soon as I got home. Man, it was getting dark outside. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a lot of fun at uh, Foley Con, and I thanked a lot the, uh, the people who put it together. I said, thank you for inviting us. We had a blast. And, and uh, you know, I gave them, you know, uh, we're not going to be at the Explorium this year from May the 4th so if y'all want to invite us you can but it's a little different than going to the 501st Legion website you can get in touch with my buddy Bill because they, they know Bill and he'll tell you the proper way of doing that than going to our link because when you use our 501st Legion link it's more that link is actually more used for like uh, like comic cons parades festivals uh charity stuff like that uh but but when it comes to like lucasfilm limited events like star wars night at baseball games football games hot you know stuff like that you kind of need the uh proper link you know but uh yeah i mean it was a lot of fun thank y'all guys for watching this video i greatly appreciate it 
And uh, until next time, I'm Jedi Master RD, and, and y'all be safe. May the Force be with you always. Bye-bye.